Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and this is Thursday morning. Um, I just want to do a quick update with you. I want to show you my garden if it uh, quit raining long enough to walk around there and show it to you. Uh, we've been having rain every day this week. I also have a couple of other things I want to give you updates on and I'll do that just as soon as I get through showing you our garden. Okay, like I said, we've had rain every single day this week, so I haven't been able to go out there and do any work in the garden, but I was able to uh, get our grass cut one morning. Let me turn the camera around and show this to you. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's just lightly sprinkling right now, and I may have to walk around to the garden even with it sprinkling but i did get our grass cut and i'm thankful that i did because it'd be so tall right now i don't know what it would do if i hadn't got it cut okay i'm gonna try to walk around to the back real quick and we'll do an update back there on the garden just as soon as i get around okay so here's my garden and uh, as you can see my peppers are on this side they're doing real good I'm going to try to get you a picture of this one big pepper. And I'm going to cut that off in just a minute. And I'll show you how big it really is. These are our squash down through here. And I do see a couple of blooms that are starting to open up. So we should have squash real soon. And if you notice between the rows, the rain has made all the grass and weeds just grow like crazy. Okay, here's our, this row here is cucumbers, and they're coming along. They're not growing as fast as the uh, squash, but they are growing. Over here is our tomato plants, and we do have quite a few green tomatoes that's down on the bottom levels. They're a little hard to see without getting in there, and I don't want to walk into the garden right now with it being muddy, but let me walk around this way. And you can see lots of good yellow blooms. There's a bunch of tomatoes down there. Okay, and I'm standing right here beside the tomato plants. And they look like they're about four foot tall right now. So they have really grown from all this rain. The cherry tomatoes has got a bunch of tomatoes on it. And here's my okra. These, that row and that row over there is okra. And I'm going to guess that it's about 18 inches tall right now. And I think that I've seen a couple of blooms starting to come on it yesterday. So it won't be long we'll get some blooms on that. And there's two pepper plants over here I got planted. I've got to try to get in there and get some of these weeds out as soon as the uh, rain quits and it dries up a little bit. But uh, I really haven't been putting a big effort toward getting the weeds out because that is a lot of work. Okay, and there's my corn. And my corn is probably about an average of three foot tall. Let me walk around here so I can get real close to it. Okay, and there it is. It comes up to about comes up to about my waist right there. So that corn is about three foot tall, and uh, it is starting to look good. Hopefully, it will produce plenty of corn this year. We've uh, the deer has been coming into the yard, and they're coming in down here at the bottom. And I moved my trail cam back there to try to get video of them. But so far, I have not been able to get video of the deer coming into the yard. But when I was cutting grass the other morning, uh, I must have scared one of the deer that was out in the woods because that deer come running out like crazy. And uh, it actually startled me a little bit. He came out so fast. Okay, so let me turn it back around here. So there's a look at our garden from this angle. 
and get down here and show you a close-up of that okra. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, here's my bell peppers. And if you can see that, it's about, it's almost big enough to pull, just a little bit more, and I'll be able to pull that bell pepper. And there's a big one on this one over here, too. Actually, all my bell peppers are just about ready to pull. Okay, I'm going to walk back around so I won't be getting wet to the front, and then I want to give you the other updates that I had uh, wanted to talk to you about. Also, I noticed on the cucumbers out there, I see the little runners coming off, so it won't be very long. They'll start running and growing. I need to put me a stake around them, and if I do get a change when it's not raining and it dries up, I will do that. If not, I'll just let them grow right there on the ground. Okay, let me go back around front. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I went ahead and harvested this uh, big pepper, and I laid it next to a tape measure, and it looks like it's a little over seven inches long. I do not know what kind of pepper that is, but it does make a very big pepper and there's the bell pepper i went ahead and harvested that one it's about half the size of what you would buy at a store but it's still a pretty good pepper and we'll use this in one of our recipes real soon uh, this big pepper here i'm not sure if i'm going to try to eat it or not because it's probably a hot pepper if uh, you recognize this pepper and know what kind it is Leave a comment and tell me what kind you think it is. Uh, this is the mystery peppers that was supposed to have been banana peppers, but didn't work out that way. And I found out that several other people that thought they had banana peppers that had bought them from the same location uh, ended up having something different like this. Okay, everyone, I'm back around front now. And uh, it's not raining hard, but it's just a drizzle. And I don't want to get soaking wet. My feet are already wet from walking in the grass. But uh, let me do a couple of other updates for you. The first thing I want to talk to you about is our shirts and merchandise. And if you ordered any of the uh, shirts or merchandise from our store, just want to let you know, Kim told me that everything had been shipped out this week. I think she said everything got shipped on Tuesday afternoon. So you can be watching your mail. You should be getting a delivery uh, pretty soon. I know we're looking forward to getting ours. Uh, we can't wait to do a video uh, wearing our new shirts. Okay, the other thing I want to talk to you about, uh, you may notice I'm a little out of breath because I do get tired pretty quick and easy but um, I'm doing the best I can this morning. The other thing I want to talk to you about is uh, Marie, and she's been having some problems. I don't know if you've noticed it, but on the last two videos that she did, she's been having trouble with her hip. And uh, what's been happening, uh, like if we go to the store shopping, she can walk for maybe 100 to 200 feet and uh, I turned around this way. I think the camera might be too dark this direction. Let me turn back around this way. If we go to a store shopping, she can walk maybe 100, 200, 300 feet, and her hip starts to bother her. And it, it's been doing this for quite a while, but here recently, it has just started getting worse. And um, when she was doing the last two cooking videos that she did, uh, some of you noticed that she was sitting down uh, on a bar stool because standing was causing her hip to hurt and causing her problems with her hip. So we're not sure exactly what we're, how we're going to handle this, but she has been to the doctor and the doctor did x-rays on her. This was about a couple of months ago and the doctor said that she does have osteoarthritis and that may be the only problem she's having that's causing her pain but whatever it is it does cause a lot of pain and once it gets started it don't seem to want to stop for very long and so she has been taking uh, Tylenol to help with the pain 
she cannot take ibuprofen because of some other uh, pre-existing conditions that she has and so um, you know for right now we're just treating it the best we can and I told her just try to rest as much as possible and I've been helping out doing everything that I can uh, in the cooking and cleaning department and Maria is one that she does not like to not be able to cook and clean because that's her favorite things to do so um, we do have a cooking video that we want to do this week and we may still get it done uh, I'm I may do it by myself, I'm not sure, but right now we're just waiting to see how Marie feels. But I would like to ask a favor of everyone, if you will, uh, please remember Marie in your prayers and pray that her hip gets better. Marie uh, knows that usually this ends up having to have uh, what's called hip replacement surgery, and she does not want to go through that, and we're praying that she don't have to go through that. But uh, if any of you out there have had to have a hip replacement surgery or if you've had to deal with hip problems and if you don't mind leaving a comment, let us know what it was like and how, what you had to go through and you know, just give us a few little details on it. And I'm standing here talking to you and a little hummingbird just flew up within about 12 inches of my face. And uh, I wish the camera would have got it, but he was right behind the camera he just came right up there and flew right up and buzzed me but i'm standing right beside the feeder so he's just protecting his uh, feeders while he's doing but like i was saying if you uh if you've got a relative so your mother or someone has went through hip replacement surgery and if you're familiar with it leave us a comment and if you've got any advice to give us uh give us advice uh, we appreciate any advice that you give us uh, we do have a doctor's appointment that is scheduled for, I think about 10 days from now. I'm not sure the exact date, but uh, when we go to the her general practice doctor, uh, we will be talking to her about it and see what she recommends also. Uh, tomorrow will be Friday. I'll be doing blood work for my next immunotherapy treatment, and that treatment will come on Monday. That'll be treatment number 10. So I'm getting those on down. But, uh, I'm getting a little tired standing here, so I'm getting a little out of breath. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I just want to give you a good quick update and let you know what's going on, just in case if we don't get any cooking videos out this week, uh, you'll, you won't be too worried about us. So just remember to keep Marie in your prayers. We appreciate each and every one of you. We love you. Y'all have a great week and we will see you on our next video. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here